Welcome back! We're learning all kind of interesting things here in the library, but unfortunately we couldn't find any English books about Ludwig II. So we'll have to find a different way to get information about that. There's nothing else on the bookshelves. There is a desk here, though. Ah, oh, this is the desk where Gabriel was typing in the introduction movie. Or in the opening movie to the first chapter, anyway. The Voodoo Murders. I suppose in the next Blake Backlash book, good old Fujitsu will be replaced by Hildegard. I suppose that Hildegard is Gerda's stand-in in the book, in the same way that uh, Fujitsu is Grace's stand-in. The typewriter. I'm not quite ready to write the big hero yet. Okay, so we can use the typewriter to send messages to Gabriel once we know enough to actually send him something. Hard at work, night. Um, yes. Kind of an old-fashioned typewriter, I think. He had a much more modern one in, uh... in New Orleans. And this is 1994! Why doesn't he have a computer? Would make writing a book much easier. Who should I call? Good question. The only phone number we have is, uh... the one on Professor Barclay's card. Wait a second, he's a professor of history, isn't he? Maybe he knows something about Ludwig II. Let's see. Hello. Professor Barkley, this is Grace Nakamura. I'm calling from Germany. Germany? I thought you were in New Orleans. I was, but anyway, it's rather important or I wouldn't have bothered you. Do you know anything about King Ludwig II of Bavaria? <laughs> well, that's a hell of a thing to ask a man in the middle of the night. Uh, late 1800s, right? Yes. Uh, this isn't really my field, uh, but I, I think he was crazy or something. I wish I knew. Do you know anyone who specializes in German history? Yeah, I have a friend at the University of Berlin. Uh, I'll ring him. Uh, what's your number there? It's 4989-555-7878. Okay, I'll, I'll call you back if I remember this conversation in the morning anyway. Great. Sorry again. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Nice detail of the phone number for the castle is the same as it was in the last game. Anyway, he'll let us know when uh, he gets something. And that is it for here. I think we uh, need to go down to uh, the town and see if we can get those trial records now that we have a date. Uh, but first, let's check the notebook. I'm sure Grace will have learned some things. Did I mention that Gabriel is a pig? Good thing I'm doing all this for me. I think that's probably written in response to our encounter with Gerda. Victor Ritter's journal. I think I found the werewolf trial Werner mentioned. An entry dated April 20th, 1750 describes how Victor trapped a black wolf that was supposedly a werewolf. Victor wounded it in the chest. It was brought to Rittersburg. Not sure why or what happened next. The Schottenjägers didn't involve themselves in the trial, it seems. Which is why we need those records. So we got a new tab on Black Wolf uh, 64, I guess 1864. I found a letter in the Werewolf lore book. It was dated 1864 and was written by a Schottenjäger, Christian Ritter to King Ludwig II of Bavaria. It warned him about someone called the Black Wolf. 
Not sure if it's related to werewolves or not, but the letter was in the werewolf book. Find out more about this subject if possible. Well, we're already working on that with our call to um, Professor Barclay. Got another page under the same tab. Christian Ritter's journal confirms that he was after a werewolf and had connected it, him, with someone called the Black Wolf. Doesn't look like he ever got him, though, because the entries end there, and his date of death is given as 4 March 1864. Same date as the letter. If he died for the letter, it was in vain. The original's still sitting here. I'm pretty sure Ludwig never saw it. <laughs> Guess that old Ritter curse was doing its thing. And that's it for now. All right, let's go back to the town. I kind of like that you get uh, a better sense of the research. I guess we don't, still don't have anything to say to Gertie. I don't have anything to say to her right now. At least it's more this time than just... Uh, Gabriel telling Grace he wants something figured out at the end of the day, and then Grace telling Gabriel the next day that she found something, or not, like it was in the previous game. Now we actually get to see how she's doing her research. We get to do it for her, sort of. That's what I mean with... Um, over-the-top long um, transitional movies that get kind of annoying after a while. Let's see. Hello again. Did you need something else? Yes, we want the trial records. Remember that werewolf trial I'd asked you about? I have a date now. April 1750. Excellent. Let me go look. I heard of this case when I was a boy. Uh, but I always thought it was just a scary tale. Uh, it, I never thought to look in the archives. <laughs> it was there, all right. Uh, what did you want to know? I guess we can't read the archives ourselves, because they are probably in German. Why did they bring the wolf to Rittersburg? I know the Schattenjager lived here, but why didn't he just... Kill it where he found it? I don't know. Let's see. Ah, yes. Uh, they wanted to know what man it was, uh, who it was. They brought it here so it would change back? Yes, exactly. Uh. What happened to the alleged werewolf? He was interrogated for two days. He confessed his guilt. Uh, the trial took place on the third day, and he was uh, sentenced to death by quartering and the stake. Uh, he was given a final meal. He asked to see a confessor, and this was granted. Uh, he died at dawn the following day. They pulled off his limbs and burned him? Uh, don't think harshly of us, miss. That was a long time ago. <laughs> I think that's actually the events of the prologue that we saw. The uh, killing of the original werewolf from here. But if that werewolf was killed, obviously... The one we are dealing with now cannot be the same one, nor can that Black Wolf one from 1864 be the same werewolf, if this one was truly dead. Unless he managed to survive being torn into pieces and then burnt, which from the uh, what we saw in the werewolf lore book seems unlikely. 
Where was the werewolf kept while it was here? The dungeon. There's a dungeon in the rat house basement. We don't use it anymore, of course. Haven't for many years. Did it change back? Well, unless it confessed his guilt That's while in wolf form, I think yes. They put the wolf in a cell, and the next morning they found a man in there. A laborer from out of town uh, identified him as Baron von Ralek uh, from Alfing. Why did they want to find out who the werewolf was? I would guess. Yes. It says here that a group of villagers were sent to the werewolf's hometown once they learned its human identity. Why? <laughs> they thought there were more of them there? In those days, uh, the family of the identified werewolf would be in great danger. Many believed such curses were handed down through the bloodline. Was there anything else? I suppose not. Unless, is there any way I could see the dungeon? It would be my pleasure. If the lycanthropy book is to be believed, they weren't wrong about um, the curse being passed down through the bloodline. Everything's been kept the way it was when the dungeon was in use. We show it off to tourists sometimes. Are you all right, miss? I'm fine. It's just that this place is so claustrophobic. I tell you what. Normally, this place is locked to keep out the village children. I'll leave it open. You can come and go as you please. Would you? Thank you so much. You are most welcome. Goodbye, and good luck. Bye. Nice fellow. But what the hell was that? Some kind of vision. I didn't know Grace was psychic. Let's see, there's a window. Looks out at the church. He asked to see a confessor. Exactly. Maybe the church has records about that. Claw marks. Yeah, you can see there are scratch marks. I suppose they could be claw marks. Bit of a jumping to conclusions there. Could just be in a... That there was a workman here who was kind of careless. Anything else? Just a bunk? Von Rolick slept here. I'm guessing these are not the same sheets. Well, that's it for the dungeons. Let's see if we can ask Habermas about the church records. See if there's anything about that confession. Hello again. Did you need something else? I had a thought while I was in the dungeon. Yes? You mentioned that Baron von Rolick was allowed to give a last confession. I suppose the priest was from St. George's? I suppose it was. Would there be a record of the last confession? It might tell us more about the Baron's life. Hmm. Good idea, young lady. Those records are in German, though, and Father Getz doesn't speak English. Do you think this would really help your Schattenjäger? 
I'm not sure. It couldn't hurt. All right. I'll write you a note. You give it to Father Getz, and he'll see if they have a record of the confession. If they do, you bring it back here to me, and I'll help you translate it, okay? That would be wonderful. Thank you so much. Certainly. You got my curiosity up too, you know. All right. I guess we should go to the church, get those records, in the next video.